Mutar, one of the um, things that fascinates me about your leadership is the incredible exposure that you have because of your travels. And my sense of it is that it helps you be a more effective business leader because you are so very, very well traveled. Now, it's, it's required because of the 200 plus countries, of course, that Coke is represented in. But uh, knowing you as I do in, in early years in your career, you were also well traveled. Your father was a diplomat. Your grandfather was a diplomat as well. Talk just about the, the necessity to be well traveled as a responsible business leader today. Well, I think it doesn't really matter if you uh, run a, uh, what size company you run. I think um, if you really want to make a mark on the world, today uh, in business um, and you want to grow and and I think in 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 life in business in 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 also national politics growth is a key every everybody people have to grow businesses have to grow sustainably uh, and I think uh, also countries have to grow and um, find a way to grow sustainably and if you want to do that if in business to grow sustainably you have to really um, understand what's happening in the world, uh, not just by reading only, by seeing only on screen, but you have to also touch and breathe and, and re create relationships so that you can actually double click, triple click and go deeper, have deeper discussions with people, all the stakeholders that touch your business no, and in different parts of the world, all the stakeholders. and so. Um, it is an absolute must to see, to breathe, to touch, to double click, and also to be seen. Because um, in a way, when you sort of peel the fruit then and you look inside and say, what are the, the real basic things that, that a leader needs to do today in business? Um, you've got to essentially paint a picture of how you would like to see your business in a number of years, not tomorrow, but so call it a vision, um, paint a picture that is simple, graspable, understandable, talkable, uh, clarity and simplicity, key two words. But also you've got to find a compelling way to continue to uh, communicate that and you need to make sure that people are inspired by it. And to do that, you have to go, you have to touch, you have to be with people. Talk to us about the importance of clarity and simplicity in the role that you have well, as a leader. It's it's, you've got to touch a number of different points, but first uh, about a brand, again, just going back a little bit higher up uh, in altitude, um, just the same as, as the Chick-fil-A brand, Coca-Cola is a promise. We just make, it's a, a brand is a promise, and if uh, I say it often, a, a good brand is a promise kept. So you've got to always ask yourself the question, what are the promises, are we keeping them? Are we ahead of those promises? And so um, when you frame uh, it like that, today then what you have is consumers no longer voting for products simply and only because how great they taste, just like mm. your great food. But it's the aura it's, of what goes with the brand. It's the social license. It's the moral, I call it the moral contract. And it's about the character of us that produce those brands, produce um, all those stock keeping units, produce those uh, packages. Are, do the values and, and the character of the companies match those that the consumers want to see? It's all about um, the environment. What are you doing? It's all about the community. What are you doing? So in our case, uh, the sustainability program is a very important piece of this and how we, what we do, how we're measured, not by us, by the way. You don't want to measure yourself. Let others me measure you. You, you stick your um, hand out and, and put your goals out uh, if you're bold enough. Put bold goals and then get somebody else to measure you how you're doing against those goals. In our case, in the case of Coca-Cola, uh, we've, we've selected four pillars critical pillars. One is water, uh, one is recycling and packaging, the other one is uh, growing our business but not our carbon, and the, th uh, the fourth, uh, not, uh, not certainly the least, is community. All about um, you know, how we empower women, 
all about how uh, we can uh, create sustainable communities, all about entrepreneurship, all about job creation, all about education, uh, all about um, uh, creating better communities. Active lifestyle programs, which you're involved in as well, I know. I want to take a little departure here, and I'd like to, to uh, hear your thoughts about the incredible changes we see taking place here in the Middle East. Uh, the last time you and I were together with a group, uh, we were with a group of students, yeah. teenagers, who were, yeah. you know, and this was the change taking place in Egypt. We see uh, revolution taking place in Syria, Lebanon, uh, of course, Afghanistan, uh, Libya. And, and, and Libya, as well as Pakistan. You know, as you look across the landscape of that, uh, are, does that give you hope or optimism, or how do you think about those uh, incredible changes we see taking place in the Middle East today? Without a question. It gives me, I think, and it should give everyone tremendous hope. Everyone who believes that uh, uh, um, uh, the, the democratic framework, uh, uh, freedom uh, uh, of, of press, uh, the rights checks and balances lead to better, uh, a better architecture for uh, 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 the world, uh, then you have to be hopeful. You have to, it has to give you hope. It have to, has to give you a good feeling. Now, um, the challenge is in the short term, there's going to be more disruptions. Uh, there's going to be more suffering. Uh, but in the end, uh, just when you look, at, look back and see what it took for democracy to take hold in Europe, you know, from the 1700s, how many wars, how much suffering, and uh, here in the United States, what it took democracy, the Civil War, we for, uh, the Civil Rights Movement, all of those. So it is a long process. Once we understand and accept that it is not a short process, you have to create a middle class. Mm -hmm. You have to create um, human rights, uh, a framework for human rights. You've got to create checks and balances. You've got to create a free press. You've got to create a better education. You've got to create some kind of social framework um, uh, uh, in the country. These things take uh, time. But the great news is the genie is out of the bottle and never will go back into the bottle. And the re basic reason for all of this happening is the, the incredible technological changes taking place. The cell phone, five billion cell phones. Every, most of the cell phones now are smartphones. Uh, people can uh, see everything simultaneously, whatever important thing that happens, communication. No one can stop that anymore. Um, it, it was basically television was the reason, um, uh, a satellite television was the reason why the, uh, the communism collapsed. Uh, many people had little, sa little dishes on top of their homes and they could watch satellite uh, television uh, without the control of the Russian uh, so Soviet government at that time or the uh, or, or other other totalitarian governments in East and Central Europe like Poland, the Czech Republic, Czechoslovakia at that time, and Romania and so forth. That's what brought this communism to its knees. And now, um, of course, technology has developed so governments can stop satellite uh, television from going into homes, but they can't stop the cell phone. Well, Mutar, I want to I want to thank you for your leadership role because Coke, as we see these revolutionary changes, is that affordable, accessible moment of refreshment. While we may disagree on so many different things globally, uh, we can all acknowledge the fact that a, a wonderful occasion to enjoy a, a Coke Zero is a positive refreshment and it's, a, 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 it's an asset of unity for our globe. It's a great connection and uh, it's um, a, a great pride for us uh, on our 125th anniversary to serve uh, our dear partners uh, like yourselves uh, in even better and more meaningful and creative ways. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.